I'm sure you want them to be with people they know so that they're not alone there. But what are your feelings about the, the, the attacks against Gaza right now? Um, how can I the government... I must say that, look, you, you're looking for, for a symmetrical situation, and I must say it isn't. Um, if you were dealing with a, a war who is between two countries, countries don't take children hostages, I'm sorry. It's against the laws of war. It's against humanity. It's against anything that we all believe in. Every time we had missiles uh, shot at us, I used to say to my children that they should be sympathetic towards the children of Gaza because they suffer a lot more than they do. I'm not sure I still believe in it now. And I must say the only worry I have now from uh, the bombings in Gaza is the fact that my children are there. And I can't be sympathetic anymore. I can't be sympathetic to animal human beings. Well, they're not really human beings who came into my house, broke everything, stole everything, took my children from their bedrooms and took them to the Gaza Strip. Israel never done that and will never do. So there is no symmetry. I'm sorry. Do you want the I'm government... Sorry, so emotional. Do you want the government to put the, the top priority on getting the hostages out uh, before they I retaliate? I want my government to put it on the first priority and I want the world to put it on first priority. I think any mother in the world should try and imagine her children under that situation and then think again. That's all I want. I want the world to ask them to release children, to release elderly, to release the civilians they took. There is no reason to hold them there. They are not soldiers. They are not part of the war and they have nothing to do with it. We gave them work permits. We really believed that this was the way to move their economy, to, reun to, to reconnect these two so-called countries. This is not the way a country uh, behaves. This is a way that a terror organization behaves. I'm sorry.